Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for delaying your lunch to come hear us talk about Design Bytes. Uh, frankly, the name of the, the, the talk makes me hungry. Right now, I'm thinking about biting something. But let's talk about Tile. Uh, so I represent Walker Zanger. Uh, Walker Zanger is the oldest luxury tile and stone brand in the United States. And we have a passion for handmade uh, tile and stone. We are known uh, as a tile and stone company, but today I want to talk to you about concrete. So I want to talk to you about the Casa Collection, which is a really exciting uh, collection of concrete tile um, that we actually debuted last year at KBiz. And the interesting thing about concrete is that this tile is made out of the same stuff that you guys walk on. Basically, it's a sidewalk, OK? But we've turned concrete into a luxurious uh, product, a luxurious tile that you can use on the walls of your kitchen and your bathroom. Uh, these are some of the new designs that we, we launched uh, last year. And before you think it's you know, old news, the reason I'm talking about it this year is because we had a very exciting design competition for CASA uh, this, this past year. And uh, we did this uh, design competition in partnership with Architectural Digest magazine. And uh, we had about 200 entries from all over the country, uh, from notable designers, uh, architects, design students, uh, and people interested in art and design. And I wanted to share with you the winner of this competition. Uh, the tile is called Liquid Forms. And this is the gentleman who won the competition. His name is Abars Asi. And he's a well-known architect in New York City. And uh, he designed this tile called Liquid Forms. And it's two pieces that basically fit together to create many different kinds of patterns. Um, the really interesting thing about this, about this concrete is that the surface, when you think about concrete, you probably don't think about smooth. Okay? This concrete is as smooth as silk. And the reason it's smooth as silk is because it's created with a proprietary process uh, in partnership with a uh, factory that we work with in Hungary, Budapest, Hungary. They developed a way of finishing the concrete so it has a very smooth, smooth surface. Uh, the product's appropriate for indoors and outdoors. It can be used in, in kitchens, can be used in showers, it can be used in fountains, it can be used for the facades of buildings. A few other pictures here of the different ways the tile can be used. There's about eight different patterns that you can make with, this, with these two tiles, which is an interesting and uh, unique, unique, unique way to use the tiles. One of the things that Ibars told us uh, when he was designing this tile is that he was actually inspired by marble carving, Baroque marble carving in particular, and the way that Baroque sculptors carved fabric in marble. And that was one of the main inspirations for this product. So I'm going to invite you guys to come see us. Our booth is right here. You can see it right back there, the signs on the wall. And let me tell you what the booth number is. We're in booth 4631. I invite you guys to come over and see Liquid Forms and some of the other exciting products that we're debuting at KBiz uh, this show. Thank you. Nice work, Jared. I know they're going to have a lot of questions. I can feel it. Well, one, actually, forget about them for a minute. Let's talk about me. Okay. One thing that everybody always worries about with concrete is the sealing process. Is right. this something that once it's installed, will it ever have to be sealed again? Or uh, is it already done with your proprietary stuff that you're going to give me the formula for? We're not going to give you the formula, but there is a proprietary uh, sealing, sealer put on the surface uh, that doesn't need to be resealed. And that's why you can use it in, uh, in bathrooms and showers and, and water environments. So from the installer in me, anytime that I'm installing a, a concrete tile, I've got to seal it prior to and then seal it every once in a while. You guys just install this sucker and you're done with it. Once it's grouted, yeah, you're done. Put it in and go. I like that. You guys have any questions? How does it clean? Amazing. It cleans great. All you need is a, basically a wet rag, or wet cloth, I should say. Don't use rags on such a nice tile. Yeah. The question is, does it stain? Uh, it, it, has a, it has a sealer on the surface, so it, it doesn't stain. Of course, if you try really hard, I'm sure you can stain almost anything. But it has been tested, and it can be used in, in most uh, vertical environments. So it's pretty stain-proof. Yeah, we got another question. Go ahead. Does it have to be? Does it have to be grouted? Good question. And actually, the interesting thing about this product is that it doesn't have to be grouted, OK? Because it is, it is manufactured with such a tight tolerance that you can basically butt the tiles together. If it's not in a wet environment, you can put it on the wall, and you don't need grout necessarily to have a nice finished product. If it is in a wet environment, can you still not grout it and just ooze silicone between? Or uh, what's you, the... could, you could use the silicone, but we recommend okay. grout. All right, grout yeah. it is. Any other questions? You mean shower pans? Yeah, strictly walls. Because, I mean, it's, it's dimensional. It wouldn't really be very comfortable to walk on. 
awesome anymore. I know you guys on the outside over there, you quiet people. Yep, I see. Is the color solid, is the color solid throughout? The, the color is solid throughout, but under the, sur the, the top surface, which is about an eighth of an inch of, of cement, you'll, you will see the aggregate underneath. So when you cut it, you will see the, you know, the rocks that make up cement underneath it. You guys got some tough questions. What are you doing yeah. in these bathrooms, for crying out loud? <laughs> Go ahead. Do you have an edge piece to finish off some of the detail? Actually, what we recommend for finishing the edge is actually to paint the edge. Because, because the tile is so dimensional, it's got so many ups and downs, it's hard to create a piece that will finish all the, all the edges. But you can actually take the tile to a, paint, to a paint store, and they can match it. And you can paint the side, and that's a great way to finish the edge. I'd say any more questions, but I think your two minutes are up. You right. that. I think you got to swipe right with everybody here. They all look very happy and smiley. Thank you. Uh, everybody visit the booth. I think it's 4631. Check it out.